Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Intuition Diary. The purpose of the Intuition Diary was to share with you things that happen in my life, to show you how I embrace the boring, mundane, earthly things that happen in this world with the fun, intuitive and spiritual stuff. How do we, you know, embrace spirituality and intuition into our everyday life? And I've got a classic example for you this week of what's happened recently. So when I moved into this home that I live in now, I did so deliberately to downsize. So a lot of things left the home and I kind of got to a point a little while ago where I thought, yep, this is good, I'm great. But over the past 12 months or so, every few months there's been something else. It's like, oh, maybe it's time this needs to move out now. Oh, maybe it's time to go through the wardrobe again and have a and have another colour of the clothing that I've got. And most recently it's been about books. Books were something I had all my life. As an only child, you know, books were around a lot and my mum was an avid reader. And I just naturally kept them. And there's been a huge kill of my books this year um, of donating uh, them to charity so they get a second life and someone else needs to use them. And it's created much more space in my home, which feels feels great. But something else happened more recently, and that was I was having a conversation with my friend and client, Julie Bickerdyke. And Julie is a finance extraordinaire to the not-for-profit sector but she's also a feng shui specialist. And she told me where my wealth corner was in my home. And believe it or not, my wealth corner is in my kitchen where my sink is, which strange place for it to be, but there it is. And when we were talking about wealth, it wasn't just financial wealth. That's part of being wealthy and feeling wealth is about money but it's also this sense of you have a wealth of experiences in life you have a wealth of supportive people and friends and family around you you know you have a wealth of enjoyment it's that kind of idea it's like abundance is not just about money it's about an abundance of lots of other things as well it's the same with wealth so i found out that my sink in the corner of my kitchen is my wealth corner and it's changed how I approach my kitchen now so instead of feeling the drudgery and the boredom of having to clean the kitchen I go in now I'm like yep I'm cleaning and clearing my wealth corner did you see how my body changed then so when I was talking about the drudgery of cleaning my shoulders were forward and like when I'm when I said I'm cleaning and clearing my wealth corner my shoulders went back my arms are out I'm embracing and inviting all the wealth in. And that was really interesting for me. It's really interesting the shift that it's had within me that I now perceive my home in a different way. Yes, I want it to be clean and clear and tidy because that helps spiritually to have space, space to be, space to sit, space to bring more wonderful wealth and abundance in. But knowing it's located where it is located in an area of my house that probably didn't get all the attention it deserved at one time has really shifted something within me. Um, and it's not mindset. Don't think it's shifted my mindset. What is shifted is something deep in me because shifting a mindset never achieves lasting transformation. If I'd have achieved my mind, if it, that had been a shift about mindset, I would have given up doing it by now. This is a shift within from my soul about paying attention to and caring for my wealth corner. So I'm no longer cleaning the kitchen, I am clearing my wealth corner. So that's my little intuition diary story for this week. I hope it makes you think about your home and what you're doing and how our soulful spiritualness can help us feel differently about our home and how it can make it more fun and less of a drudgery and a bore. I will see you next week for the next Intuition Diary. Until then, have a very good week. It is a new moon on Monday, so keep looking at the sky. I've seen some lovely stars out over the past few days as well. So keep looking at the sky and start to watch after Friday when the moon will start to appear again. Take care. Bye.